everybody. Um, it's Gina, and it is time for a giveaway. Now, this is long overdue, and I do apologize. <coughs> um, it's been a while since I've done a giveaway on my channel, and I just want to um, show my appreciation to all, all of you who have supported me. Um, I cannot believe that I'm over 6,000 subscribers now, and um, I just want to do some little something to say thank you um, because I never ever dreamed that I'd have um, this number of subscribers and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, so what I've decided to do is a little bit different giveaway. Um, I have been thinking about this and how I wanted to do it and um, I hope that you guys understand, you know, the reason for this and the meaning behind it. I've decided I'm going to give away this journal. Um, this is a three signature journal. Um, this is in the Nick the Booksmith style. And <clears throat> what I'm going to ask is on my website, and I'm going to put the, the link to my website in the um, description box below. I'm going to ask for a $1 donation to enter you into a raffle for the giveaway of this. Now I'm going to hold this um, open um, until the end of September. Uh, and this is a charity um, raffle. Because what I've decided to do is I'm going to donate my time that went into creating the journal um, and all of the money that's been created I've decided I'm going to um, only hold out the cost to ship this to somebody um, everything else I'm not keeping anything for myself everything else that is raised is going to go to a charity called changedirection.org and it is a uh, mental health charity um, because I think there's just a real um, there's a real need for more mental mental health services in our communities um, so that is the charity I've decided to um, to give to with this this giveaway and if this is successful I'm going to try to do this um, you know more frequently I'm gonna have to just see how it goes um, and if it does, you know, what I, my thinking was going forward, I would change charities each time I would give to somebody else. But I, this is um, one that's been brought to my attention through Chris Stapleton because he, um, he did a video, you know, that um, addressed mental health. And, of course, it put me onto it. And we all know that there there's a lot of people that struggle with mental health issues and I don't think that um, a lot of people are getting the help that they need so that is the reason I've chosen that one uh, in particular so what it is is you would go to my website you would purchase a one dollar raffle and at the end of September that will give me two months to try to fundraise for the charity um, I will do a drawing of the people who have purchased and like I said the only thing I will hold out is just the cost to ship this to the winner um, and then everything else will be um, going to that charity. So let's get started and I'll show you what's inside. This is um, covered in fabric as you can see. It's got a, a Tim Holtz book plate. I've got some um, fabric that I stitched I've got some zigzag stitching on it. That's the closure. Um, <clears throat> it's a real mix of tea dyed and plain papers in this one. I've got pockets. I've got a few embellishments, but it's been kept fairly plain for you to fill and journal in. But like I said, there's a few embellishments um, that I've added. Like here, for example, you've got a little, little tag there. This is some old... Um, piano music paper and then here is one of the create with me um, projects that I made and this has got 
the little butterfly. You've got a real mix of papers that they I I tried to coordinate them all. <clears throat> um, this one is a pocket behind and a pocket here, and uh, old music sheet. You've got some avocado dyed paper in this journal. There's 180 pages. Um, this is a pocket that I've made from a wallpaper. So you, it's old wallpaper. So you've got one, two, three pockets there. Of course, there's Edith Holden paper. Um, you know, lots of little flip outs. Um, this one's just been collaged. This is one of the sayings from. Um, Amity Bloom, be patient with yourself. No, nothing in nature blooms all year. Um, another little nature book page. I love that. <clears throat> Here, another tag, and then this is a three pocket from a book page that I created. So like I said, it's uh, it's not been overly embellished, but I still think there's there's plenty of place, you know, little tuck places for you, um, and lots of lots of writing space. Um, here, you've got the flip out, but there again, you know, I've just left it for you to fill with your items. I've got a couple of the little mini Rolodex cards; those are tucked in there, so you can do more journaling on that. more of that old music sheet um, paper. Here's an altered glassine bag pocket. So um, This journal is about, um, let's see, I think it's a, it's about five and a half by eight and a half. So it is a large journal, and as I said, there's about 180 pages in here. This is another little pocket I made. This has got some lace behind it. Just some techniques, you know, I was trying out. and um, So just a real mix. More avocado paper. This is some of the Kath Kidson notebook paper. And this is one of my um, envelope pocket flips, and you've got a journaling card in here. There's an aged safety pin with a glass bead. So there's a journal card tucked up in there. And then back here, there is another little uh, Rolodex card that's been tucked in that pocket. And you can do some journaling on these, um, the backs of these as well. So. Just a real mix, as I said, um, but I did just feel like it was time to do something um, special, and I've never given away uh, a journal this size before, but I'm hoping, you know, like I said, I wanted to do, to thank all of you, and I also wanted to do something good for you know, to just try to do our part to make the world a little bit better place because I think maybe just small acts, hopefully, you know, hopefully we can make a difference. Um, I love these papers. Those are the uh, antique papery papers. And like I said, you know, just a real mix of tea dyed and white because I love that. I, I like the contrast on that. Some more music sheet. And Edith Holden paper and then on the back I've just tucked in one of the little matchbook notebooks with the extra sheets of paper that I had. So that's just tucked in there. So there you go. As I said, it's a big journal. Um, it's fairly plain so that you can fill it yourself. And um, so I hope everybody 
will get involved in this. And like I said, I'm going to keep this open until the end of September. So if you're interested in um, purchasing a raffle ticket in the hopes of, of winning this journal, just click on the link below and I will be back very soon, guys. I've got lots of projects going on, lots of design team projects, Create With Me is coming up. So I will be back very soon to see you guys. Take care. Bye.